Finally! Jesus! Woo! So, the DHL person just stopped by, and they dropped us off a present. Let's open up our hot motor. Check that out, guys. All right, so now that we have our hub motor in, we're gonna go ahead and test fit it in our swing arm and see if it needs to go this way or the other way. It actually will shift it just a little bit to either side. Uh, we wanna make sure that we shift it a tiny bit to the left. I did almost forget something. See this little yellow spot right here? That's because we can see it right through it. We need to install our valve stem first. I checked it earlier and we need to file this top just a tad. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that right now. surrounding area so we don't accidentally make up the paint when we don't have to. That should be good. See on this, you can see on this side, just 90 degrees out, makes it pretty easy to fill up. All right, in case you guys haven't figured it out by this point, we're gonna dark side the tire on this. So that, that essentially means it's a motorcycle wheel, but we're gonna use a car tire on it just because of the configuration of it being a reverse trike. Uh, 
means that we want that additional contact patch. We're not doing any rolling over on the edges. So we'll go ahead and dark side it. So can't mount this in a tire machine. So there is a trick to this. You use zip ties all the way around the edge and you snug it up periodically throughout it. And what it does is it stretches the bead where you can just slip the tire right over it and drop it in place. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Is put our zip ties on here. We gotta go in just a bit more, so we're gonna compress it by just squeezing them in. <laughs> Still not. Two hours later. Oh, that didn't do us any good, so we're gonna try it by just working it around. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Finally! show you guys where this is at. So we got just enough thread on this side and then enough thread on the outside to secure this down, but we are gonna have to space it out. You can see about three eighths of an inch. So we'll have to weld in a tab at the bottom. Same on this side. And that'll keep it from spinning on us. And then the wire comes out right here. We have the old brake bolt hole right here. We'll put an edel clamp right here. We'll hold it right here. And then probably a rib nut somewhere on the bottom right here for a second one. And then we're gonna run it up right in through here. And then up and out at a 45 out this side right here. You're gonna have to shorten these cables down, but eh, it is what it is.
So for this now, we got it softened up. It's not gonna rub or chafe through our wires, but just to be on the safe side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of rubber hose, split it in half, and then line the entire edge of this. Hi guys, so this is where we're gonna leave it for this episode. Next episode, uh, we'll take and do a test run of a motor. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'm being told that it is gonna come in uh, for a spool gun switch so we can do all our welds and get that done. And then make sure our suspension's squared away. So hopefully by that time we're able to do all that. Um, if not, we'll continue working on our electronics. In the meantime, I might spend a week and uh, do a video about the 944. Anyways, see you on the next one.